Hello everyone, it is Duosmir with another video. Now, the Book of Boba recently wrapped itself up, and since that happened, I thought there was no better time to talk about it. So, without further ado, let's review the Book of Boba. The Book of Boba is the most recent addition to the Star Wars universe, and for its release, I was pretty hyped. First of all, the spacing for the Star Wars shows and movies is made in such a way where it almost always has you wanting more without being overwhelmed. Not to mention, once one finishes, it leaves you hyped for the next project. And going into the show, I was pretty excited. I loved The Mandalorian, and seeing The Book of Boba teased at the end of Season 2 had me really excited. I was super interested to see where Boba's story will continue and how it will develop. So how was it then? Well, I think it was pretty good, but it definitely had its issues. Right off the bat, I thought this show was pretty strong. I actually really liked all that stuff that it had to do with the sand people, and sure, it was a little slow at times, I still found it to be super engaging, and I love seeing a part of the Star Wars universe that could easily be overlooked and get more depth and elaboration. It's crazy how the show got me to care so much for people I can't even understand and have no prior connection to. Like, I got emotional over these characters, these unnamed, basically background characters. Like, that's really cool, but like I said before, it was a little slow at points. That didn't bother me personally, but I know some of my family and even friends were put off by this, so this may be a little bit of a block to get through. But also, in general, if you didn't find yourself liking the whole Sand People arc, you may struggle quite a bit with this first half of the season. Because after that story is told, it focuses a little on these new characters, and I really don't like them all that much. This techno biker gang was seriously uninteresting and very corny. They feel like super shoehorned in and almost feed this stereotypical teenager role, like, I'm not listening to you, I'll follow my own morals, and just that whole thing. And even being, like, even being untrained, they still somehow, like, save the day every single time. It just feels super forced. I don't know, maybe some people like them, but I just found them super annoying and almost everyone I know has said the same thing. They also introduce us to one of the worst chase scenes I have ever seen. I don't know how they did it, but they seem to make a supposedly high speed chase super slow, like really slow. I could probably jog faster and then how much <laughs> than how fast they were going. It was just so bad, like... It was just so slow. Uh, overall, man, these characters were like just such a detriment to the show. I mean, they don't even fit in with their environment, which I guess may be the point. I mean, teenagers rebel and all that, but they just don't feel like something very Star Wars to me. They're just really out of place. All of this affects the pacing of the show, which makes a lot of these earlier episodes kind of slow and boring. I mean, besides the Sand People stuff, these earlier episodes were boring in a way, straight up. Actually, most of the stuff that had to do with Boba Fett was boring. I mean, no spoilers yet, but the show does eventually shift focus to another character, and it gets infinitely more interesting. This is where I believe the show really started to speed up, and it was able to ride that wave until the end of the show. So once you get around the halfway part of this show, it should start to get really good. Another thing I kind of have an issue with, but I feel like I'm nitpicking here, but Boba gets his ass beat, like, a lot. Seriously, for someone so badass, or supposedly so, I feel like he loses a lot of his fights. And maybe that's because of the whole Sarlacc thing or old age, but I don't know. I feel like he was way cooler when he was like 12 in the Clone Wars. I don't know, I feel like they could have just done more on that front with Boba in my opinion, because if you're gonna make this story kinda slow, at least give us some seemingly OP main character to spice things up. It gets to the point where I start to think that bounty hunters like the Mandalorian or Fennec are actually way better and more skilled than Boba, which canonically I don't believe they should be, but they just nerf Boba's character so much 
I just want to see him kick some ass, man. Which he does on occasion, but I wish it was just more consistent. And the finale, I thought was pretty good as well. It tied the show together quite nicely, although it was a little corny at moments. Like, everyone coming together and helping destroy the threat was a little corny to me. But hey, I like corny, corny so it didn't bother me all that much. But the fights in this show were really hit or miss for me. I thought some were good, but others felt kind of clunky and weird to watch. Does that make sense? Hopefully it does, because I don't know, some of the choreography I thought could have been a little better, but maybe that's that whole live action effect. Now, I'm gonna talk about spoilers really quickly. If you haven't seen the show, skip to the time on screen. Okay, three, two, one. I hope everyone who wants to be is gone by now. Anyway, first of all, that Mandalorian entrance was amazing. The way they played his theme at the end of the episode had me geeking, like, literally crazy and he had one of the best action sequences in the entire show that whole scene was cold like going in there and then like chopping everyone up man that, that was insane and the grogu and luke stuff i thought was amazing as well literally this show is at its absolute best when it's not focusing on boba and we get to see the mandalorian and grogu because they carried this show also i thought cad bane was a super cool inclusion i mean it's just crazy to me that he was included in something like this i just thought he was one of those characters that would always stay on the animated side but I was wrong, and I know some people are complaining about the way he looks, and at first I was a little put off by it as well, but I grew to accept it, and canonically it does make sense. I mean, the dude is old, and his species isn't even supposed to live that long. Like, the dude is past his expiration date. Although, I can't help but wish that the actor that played him maybe had a bit of a longer face or they could CGI that, but that's such a minor issue. But anyway, that concludes the spoiler section of this video, but overall, The Book of Boba was pretty good and definitely entertaining at the least. I just wished it fleshed out certain, certain ideas like the conflict he was going through and the effects on the people around it, and things like the action and just general narrative could have been better, but it definitely had its moments of being really good. It's just a majority of those moments don't include Boba. But definitely watch it if you are a fan of Star Wars and try to stick with it because it does get better. So The Book of Boba gets a 6.5 out of 10. It's a pretty fun time and has some really cool stories in here as well. But hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you have any comments of your own, make sure to leave them down below. Trust me, I read them. Also, look at this graph. Okay, but as always, stay awesome. Too awesome. Thanks for watching.